I'm back everybody. Time for another video. Check it out. I got the brand new Alliance. It's a 2023 Paradigm 382 RK or if you like to pronounce it like I do, Paradigm 382 RK. This thing's awesome. Brand new layout. They kind of redesigned the 372 that they had. Um, they added solar, 320 watts of solar. Uh, and then also, I, I just love the colors. The colors is beautiful. Um, it has huge windows. Like I said, king bed, rear kitchen, bath and a half. It's pretty awesome. Weight on it, you're going to be standing right at about just shy of about 13,000 pounds, about 12.6, depending on when it came off of you know, from the manufacturer, weight does vary a little bit, but about 12.6 and then just over 42 foot long, 42.6. So check out this video. Let's get going. Woo! All right, we'll do a quick walk around out here. Let's just go ahead and take a look at the awesome exterior on it. Did a brand new color coat, you know, color layout on it. Um, went a little bit lighter on the, uh, on the gold accents. Um, but you're going to notice right up front, big front cap which wraps around on both sides and up top um you know beautiful design that's perfect a lot of a lot of fifth wheels are now going to it uh but let, let's start right up front let's get right to it uh kurt rotoflex again has a little a uh, little bit of a foam piece in there that kind of helps with chucking moves it back and forth reduces that chucking reduces that uh kind of untowability there so uh, probably one of the best designs on there. A lot of the fifth wheels are starting to go with them nowadays. Um, yeah, it, it's going to stick around for a while. Large, you know, storage up front here. This is optional that, you know, if you were to order one, you know, generator, you know, there's there's a little like layout. They'd, they'd prep it up for it. But your batteries go in there. Um, see my little battery box is hooked up to it. This one is equipped with solar and then your hydraulic uh, system for your slides. And then as well as your six point auto leveling system so again yeah you're right six point auto leveling system hydraulic there's your auto level system right there push of a button each side there um you can manually do it um but yeah let the thing just do its thing take a step back and just embo enjoy the beauty on this side look at that pass through storage holy cow 101 inch wide body so you're going to get the maximum amount of width all the way throughout this fifth wheel which is going to help interior which you're going to notice on the inside when we get to it um, but you also have uh, all your hookups and everything on the inside over here uh, gray tank black tank you know all your flush valves water hookups and an outside shower on your slide boxes right up there that is for your slide toppers to go over the top so it's already prepped for it makes it easily to install plus um you know can keep your slide boxes nice and clean talking about the slide boxes up on top of the roof it is a pvc roof fully walkable really easy to maintain um get up there take a look at everything uh and then also it's really easy to repair it if you do have to in an instance of a puncture or a tear or anything like that um the atrium windows on the outside Awesome when you go on the inside, solid step entryway, uh, a little bit more of the pass-through storage over here. But look at these awnings, huge. Um, if you wanted to put like your little grill set up here, they did add a, a spot where you could do an LP quick connect right there, um, as well as TV hookups if you wanted to, uh, or you know use it for whatever you would like to be used for. Plus over on this side, I'd like to do some outside football and gaming tv that type stuff you do have a little outlet over here if you want to set up a tv here now there's no satellite hookup so that's over there so if you know if you wanted to watch your tv and you wanted your satellite boom or you can put your you know put something else out here to be able to power it up that type stuff and then your exterior speakers are over there too so tv is probably going to go over there but yeah you'd have to play with it see what works best for you you know what i mean uh on the back side here ladder I know we're real tight. We pack these things in here. Uh, pretty high volume store uh, here in Indiana. So we sell these things quite a bit. Um, you do have a hitch back here. It, now, this is not a towing hitch. This is just an accessories hitch. Um, yeah, actually, no, I, I, I take that back. It is a towing hitch. So you can put up to 3,000 pounds back here. That's going to make this super long. Uh, but yeah, so a small little trailer. 
um, and then as well as a luggage rack of about 300 pounds. So 3,000 pound towing, 300 pounds uh, luggage rack. Um, G-rated tires, so heavy duty tires, uh, one of the, the highest ply ratings that you can get, um, as well as they have a performance running gear system, a little bit different shackles on there uh, to help reduce, you know, braking and as, as far as like suspension up and down um, to try to give you that more comfortable ride. Um, you know, this is a, a two inch torsion tube that's welded to the I-beam uh, and like I said, for incredible strength and uh, rigidity. Uh, the tires, they are G-rated, but they're the super G-rated. They're rated at 4,400 pounds. That's a lot. That is a lot. And then as well as your Dexter axles, uh, which are all uh, 7,000 pounds. So Dexter axles. Um, on the exterior, right, in, right behind it is Asdale siding. So less likely to delaminate um, and... Uh, you know, water leaks, get that waviness, stuff like that. If you do have a leak, it's going to kind of absorb it until the water's all gone or until you clean it out, that type deal. So uh, built for full-time RVing, which means another thing is enclosed underbelly, heated tank pads, um, and you can control that on the inside when you would like to, to hook it up. Um, and then, like I said, solar panel up top. It's trickle charging your battery right now so you can be able to run your 12-volt refrigerator, turn some lights on, turn your, uh, open up your slide boxes, that type stuff. Um, yeah, last thing before we head inside, this does have the strut assist entryway, solid step entryway, which is a must. I mean, they're, they're pretty heavy. So, which I absolutely love. I know it's a little bit of a, an eyesore to see this on the inside, but I love it. So, um, give me one good glance on the outside and let's, let's go inside. Take a look at this beautiful fifth wheel. All right, so we step inside, flip these lights on over here too, get the full effect here. Step inside, this is an absolutely beautiful rear kitchen layout. I love the accent lighting up above on the molding up there. Big tall slide boxes, you know, I stand six foot two, on a good day anyway, but uh, plenty of headroom. So um, what I really like is the, the atrium windows. I mean, they're massive and, uh, you know, all these windows open, obviously not these big ones up here, but on the sides, this side opens, these open all the way across, this one opens back there, that one, every, every window in here is going to open up. Um, gives it the nice cross breeze, you know, um, don't have to run your AC, you know, if you don't want to, or the heat, um, just like that natural air. If you're in like a 70 degree weather, you know, 65, oh man, beautiful in here, but let's go, let's go over it a little bit. So as soon as you walk in on the left-hand side, you're going to have a pull-out sofa there, right? That'll fold out into a bed directly across from the TV, which is right behind me is the, uh, uh, power recliners, Kingston, King, King. Kenningston, I can't even pronounce it, um, collection. So really nice type material. Um, you know, it's real soft, but you also have another pullout sofa right here. So what that makes is two of them. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and, and pull them out so you can see what they look like. Now, good size here. You could potentially fit two people on each one. I mean, they say you can. I like to toss and turn a lot. So my wife, if, you know, if, if this is our friend's camper, I'm probably sleeping there. She's sleeping here or vice versa. Or honestly, I'm outside in the tent. But if you have some, uh, you know, if you have some uh, people with you, need a little spot to, to sleep, this is a perfect place to lay your head because you'll still have the privacy door for you. They still have a bathroom, which will go over. TV, fireplace still you know have the recliners and you can you know squeeze through pretty easily so sometimes on those front livings or rear living dens um you know these these couches are so close together um it's pretty hard to squeeze through but yeah so pretty nice little feature there i'm gonna fold them back up real quick sorry if you hear me breathing a little heavily but put them up pretty quickly it takes a couple minutes put them up put them down 
you know, not too bad. Now, on the inside here, what I like is that they put trim all the way around the windows in here. Each one of them. So it gives it that nice, you know, homey feel type look to it. Also hides a little bit of the frame there. Now in the kitchen, it's a little different story, but the living room, like I said, does give it that nice uh, feature. One thing you're gonna notice is there's no vents in your main floor. They're in your cabinets, just like that says, no vents in the main floors. So keeping your dog hair, dirt, stuff like that, really easy to sweep up. It's not getting in your vents. Right here on the left-hand side, yeah, look at that, motion sensor light, cabinets, um, you know, pantry. Man, that's a lot of room. Trying to get the full shot of it, but I mean, it's the full size of the slide. Yeah, you can fit a lot in there. Um, your Norcold 12 volt refrigerator here, it even has a, you know, a freezer down here too. You're gonna notice, I mean, even on here, slide floor is flush. Slide floor is flush, so that gives it that, you know, that, that, that home feel, but as you can tell, it's flush, you know? Looks pretty good, to be honest. Solid surface countertops all the way around. Gives it that nice, you know, look. Cabinets up above. These are the soft shut cabinet doors. Um, reinforced drawers. So, I mean, they're, they're, they're reinforced. So, they can hold quite a bit of weight to them. Um, another thing is, is if you if you wanted a dishwasher, it's prepped for it right there. So, those would come out, your dishwasher would go in. Four burner stove top, residential oven. Says you can, you know, put a turkey in there. Uh, haven't seen one, you know, done that before, but they say you can do it. Um, residential size microwave, stainless steel appliances. You know, they all go together. Really nice. Um, reverse mount sink here too. You have a strainer. That way you can, uh, you know, if you have your dishes or something like that, need drain. Um, another thing that Alliance does is they have shutoff valves underneath every water faucet. So if you spring a leak, you can shut the valve off. You don't, have to shut the, you don't have to shut the water to your whole camper. You can shut the valve off, still use the sink in your bathrooms, still be able to use your water, uh, that type of stuff until you can get it fixed. So, so I head on this way. Uh, LED smart TV. So you have your Netflix, YouTube, Hulu, you know, all that stuff, Pandora. Uh, big cabinets up above, lots of storage. Fireplace, uh, radio, interior, exterior speakers. Um, you know, th th these are just RV type radios, so they're not they're not booming up in here. That's you know nothing crazy. Um, half bath here, porcelain toilet, uh, tons of cabinet space, medicine cabinet, and then I mean, you're on the main floor, so you get the the huge ceilings in here too. So plenty of room. Uh, right here, as soon as you walk in from the door, you do have all of your uh, controls right here, your lights, um, heated tank pads, slides in and out, awnings, all that stuff. A little bit of a coat closet there, right up above, more storage. I mean, that, that top one, you're gonna need a step step stool. I mean, I'm, I can't even reach up there. Ah, I do like this. So this is a three AC system unit. So you're gonna notice one there, one there, you're gonna have one in here, bedroom. Two of them are ran off of different ones, so they're not all ran off the same control. Um, also, on off switch for your lights, you want to set the mood, you can dim it. Sorry, this does not have a battery, it's just my battery charger on there, it's not actually the lights. But, see how it's dimmed down, dim them up, pretty cool deal. Um, and then as you walk up in here, I like this part. And they call that like a little shoe, shoe nook, so you can take your shoes off, put them right there, little slippers, you know, stuff like that. Head into the bedroom, pocket door, latched on this side. Uh, king bed, all three windows open each side. I love how they have the little accents on the side of the windows right there on the two side ones. A um, little bit of space for, you know, might be able to put a CPAP machine there. A little bit of a cubby hole here. Probably put it back in here and there's even an outlet. But phones, uh, outlets on each side. Barn style door over there, heading into your bathroom. And then same thing in here for your AC system. You do have a control in here, plus same thing, dimmer switch. So you can set the mood if you'd like to. Uh, anyway, kind of keep continuing here. 
a little bit of storage up underneath here. You could use this as a stool for, or a little seating area, put your shoes on, um, socks, stuff like that, nighttime shades, you know, just kind of the, the basic stuff. Again, look at that floor, flush mount floors. This is one big slide right here, flush mount floors. You're no more jabbing your toes. No more doing any of that stuff. It's nice and flush. Smart TV in here, tons of drawers. There's even hidden storage underneath here. Put your wallet, money, guns, stuff like that. Whatever you would like. Uh, nice, I mean, large bathroom. Epoxy sink, tons of storage. A little medicine cabinet in the middle. You even got a little bit of a mirror here to help you get dressed. Uh, man, that's a huge shower. Oh yeah. Soft closed seat lid. Want to be quiet? Pew. I know it's cold, but it'll start shutting. By the time we get done with this video, it'll finally shut. So that went no no more slamming or anything like that. You do have your max air vent there. Um, love love the fact that they put a rack in here for like your soap and stuff like that. Removable head, um, and then also uh, to be able to shave your legs, stuff like that. Got a little little uh, little stool there or a little chair. Bench bench seat. Man, couldn't think of it. Uh, this door is latched. It's cold, so bear with me here. I'm trying not to hurt my fingers. But look at that closet. Walk-in closet. Not just a closet. A walk-in closet. Uh, tons of place to put all of your, your clothes, your shoes, hang them up. Uh, this is washer and dryer prep. Yep, you guessed it. Stackable. It is stackable. And then... Look at that laundry chute. Let's go. That's what I'm talking about. That's probably that's probably one of the coolest things I have seen. Um, so yeah, this is uh, the new layout of the rear kitchen uh, paradigm uh, by Alliance. Beautiful RV. Absolutely awesome layout. Um, you know, 382 RK. I, I like I love it guys. So uh leave me a comment, let me know what you guys think. You know, I like to hear the feedbacks from them from you guys. Um and then also don't forget, uh shoot me a text or email, and then I will have the link in the bio. So that way if you'd like to see more pictures on it, a little bit more information, you can. Other than that, guys, take care. Bye bye.